Hi, today we're going to see how to intersect shapes in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. Press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the layer color to gray, so click on the foreground color. And I'm just going to bring the slider here, so here's the HTML annotation and press OK. And now I'm just going to drag the foreground color. And now I'm going to bring an image. So this is the image I'm going to use. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So here it is. As you can see, it's quite big. So I'm going to scale it down. So select the scale tool, left click on the face layer here. As you can see here, chain icon here is linked. So keep the control key down here to scale it proportionally like this. So here, now I'm just going to bring it here like this. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit again. So here it is in upper center. And now I'm going, I want to change the color here. So I'm going to make selection here of this layer here. So as you can see, there's no background. You just have the face, so right click, alpha to selection. So here it is, we have the selection and I'm going to hide this face layer here, and I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it with transparency, then press OK. And now I'm going to change the foreground color. I'm going to select this red color. So the HTML notation is DD4747, press OK. And now I'm just going to drag it here on selection. So here it is. And now go to select none to remove the selection. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer. So click on this icon and then select the flip tool. So here it is. Make sure the direction is horizontal and then left click. So here it is. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer so that we can recognize it. I'm going to select it to blue. So I'm just going to go to colors, hue and saturation. And now I'm just going to, I'm just going to change it to this color here. So here it is and I'll press okay. Now let's select the move tool. Now let's select the red face layer. So I'm going to delete the black one here, this one here, the original one. So just click on this icon, the X icon here to delete it. Let's select the blue one. Keep the control key down here while moving it to move it on the same line. And now in order to use the composite mode, we need to hide this layer, we just need these two layers here. So right click on the top layer, and then go to composite mode. So now, as you can see here, we have five options, auto, union, clip to backdrop, click to, clip to layer, sorry, and then intersection. And now I'm going to select the intersection. So here, as you can see, we'll get the parts here interacting between the two layers. So for example, if I, so I'm selecting the blue one here, if I move it here, so as you can see, so here, it hides the pixels. It just keeps the pixels interacting with each other between the two layers. So now, for example, if I show the background layer, as you can see, we don't have the intersection. So we need to use the two layers here so that they can interact with each other. And now we're going to Select the move tool again. I'm just going to move it down here like this. So here, and now right click new from visible so that I can keep this form here. And now select the layer where you use the composite mode, right click on it, and then go to composite mode and then put it back to auto or union. So here, so I'm just going to put it on, uni uh, on auto, sorry. So here it is. And now let's show the background layer. And now I'm going to select this one here. You can't see it. I'm just going to change its color. So go to colors, new and saturation. And now I'm going to, so here I'm going to change it to this color here. And now press OK. And now I'm going to change the layer background color here. I'm going to select this one here, press OK. For this one, I'm going to select this one. So here, select the gradient tool. Shape is radial, and the gradient is FG to BG RGB. And now I'm just going to trace my gradient. So here, like this, press OK. 
and let's select the top one right click new from visible so i think that's it that's how you can intersect shapes in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time